Mr. Speaker, the internegram between Azimio One Kenya Coalition and the Kenya Kwanza is keyword, Mr. Speaker, in the apex of the law, in the supreme law of the land, and in the constitution in Article 108, sub Article 2, that was also read by Honorable Kimani Ichungwa. Mr. Speaker, the article is clear that the leader of majority shall be the leader of the majority party or coalition of parties. And going by that, Mr. Speaker, in simple terms, it is very clear that Azimio, can, kindly, kindly give me time. Mwishimiwa, I don't know why you are, you are so excited. Mr. Speaker, going, going by that fact, it is very clear, Mr. Speaker, that Azimio One Kenya Coalition Party is the majority party in the National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, going by the... Just keep quiet, when I know you know only it was English, so just keep quiet. Mr. Speaker, going by the rules of interpretation, the literal rule, the golden rule, and the purposive approach. The facticity of the fact is that Azimio, Azimio Alliance, Azimio One Kenya Alliance is a coalition, is the majority coalition party. Mr. Speaker, number two, number two, we talked about marriage. Mr. Speaker, Azimio is a subsisting marriage. And in this marriage, is, is a potential polygamous marriage. And Mr. Speaker, this marriage is not voidable because there was consummation in this marriage. Mr. Speaker, the person who presided over this marriage was overqualified, Mr. Speaker. And then, Mr. Speaker, the grounds for divorce, number one, is adultery or unfaithfulness, which we never experienced in our marriage, Mr. Speaker, because we campaigned together happily Mr. Speaker, another ground is irreconcilable differences, which we never con co uh, experienced, Mr. Speaker, in our marriage. And Mr. Speaker, a ground of insufficient or lack of finances has never been a ground. That our partners, that, a, that our partners, having seen that, that Kenya Kwanza was forming the government, they ran away. Mr. Speaker, that marriage is not voidable. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, when we talk about Article 36, as quoted by Honorable Didmas Baraza on the Bill of Rights, the right to associate, Mr. Speaker, there are limitations to the Bills of Rights, including the right to life. Mr. Speaker, in the doctrine of necessity, in the case of the Queen versus Dudley and Stevens, in the United Kingdom, Mr. Speaker, you know when these defendants were on a trip, Mr. The Speaker, the as I finish. Who, the ones who ate a small boy. Yes. yes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the two defendants killed Mr. Parker and fed on him, ate him. Then, Mr. Speaker, in the High Court, it was decided that it was not necessary to take life. But upon appeal, Mr. Speaker, it was decided, they were vindicated, that it was necessary for them to take the life because either way, they would have died. Therefore, there are limitations to any law, Mr. Speaker. Be that as it may, Mr. Speaker, our marriage was... Bible, the court said they should have cast lots as to who should be eaten. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker... <laughs> Mr. Speaker, you are diverting law. <laughs> Therefore, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, I would like to say that this requires simple interpretation, and we've already been given direction by the majority leader and the majority whip, Honorable Junet, and the majority leader, Honorable Wandai, on the direction to take on this matter, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.